Chris Cyborg is one of the greatest female mixed martial artists of all time, but her greatness also made her arrogant, and this cockiness was at its highest when she had to defend her title against Amanda Nunes. The accusations and condescending tone made it clear how Cyborg felt about their upcoming fight, a walk in the park, a sure victory. And I will prove it. Let's see do. that, let's see that. I will do let's see that. I will do Let's see that. So how did the cocky fighter insult Nunes? What took place inside the octagon? And what's the legacy of this Cyborg versus Nunes bout? Let's find out. But to understand the full picture, we first need to take a closer look at the fighters. Who is Chris Cyborg? Primarily a featherweight fighter, Chris boasts black belts in both Muay Thai and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. She has strong legs and is an extremely powerful boxer. By December of 2018, she had already fought in 22 professional bouts, winning in 20 of them. With one no contest, she only lost one bout till then. What's more impressive is the way she wins her fights. Amidst the plethora of grapplers in the world of female MMA, she stands out as a powerhouse capable of delivering breathtaking knockouts. By late 2018, her 20 wins consisted of 17 such knockouts. Plus, being the featherweight champion of the world, speaking of her greatness is redundant. Her accomplishments sing of her greatness on their own. An impressive fighter through and through. But so is Amanda the Lioness Noons. And she's out. Nice right hand. Oh! Trouble. Nunez over the top. Big trouble. Boom! Hit it! So the Lioness started her MMA journey in 2008. Unfortunately, her start was marked with a loss, but she soon enjoyed a meteoric rise by defeating powerful opponents left and right. By late 2018, she had already won 16 bouts and lost only four. Nunez usually fights in the 135 weight division, one class below Cyborg. She even became the world bantamweight champion in 2016, defeating Misha Tate. The Lioness successfully defended her title against giants like Ronda Rousey, Valentina Shevchenko, and Raquel Pennington. In fact, she defeated the mighty Rousey in the very first round. Finally, with the desire to become a dual champion, she challenged Chris Cyborg for her featherweight belt, and with that, the competitive rivalry turned into an ugly bad blood. So what actually happened between these two fighters? The bad blood came to light in a pre-fight press conference. There, Chris Cyborg looked very confident in her abilities. Cyborg, after all, is a powerful fighter. Out of respect for this power, Amanda Nunes trained day and night for several months before the Nunes versus Cyborg fight, but the champ appeared quite irritated at this delay. I guess when you are the champion of the world, you get used to everything being exactly the way you want them to be. So when Amanda made her wait, it really rubbed her in the wrong way. She didn't feel the need for such a long training period. She was ready to fight then and there, eager to get her hands on Nunes. But that's not all. In her arrogance, this cocky fighter tried to paint Nunes as a coward. In one part of the briefing, Cyborg questioned Amanda's courage by saying that she'd made a habit of pulling out of fights. Sure you be there, because last I know you pull out before it fights. Yeah, I Make sure you're gonna be there. But Dana White confirmed that behind the scene, it was Cyborg who did not want the fight to happen, as she was worried about losing. To make sure that she fought Amanda Nunes, because she didn't want that fight the first time, let alone the second time. And I said that in that interview. But to top it all off, Chris Cyborg made several tweets directed at Amanda. This message can be seen as Cyborg brushing off Amanda's efforts in nurturing the female wing of MMA while inflating her own contributions. Suffice to say, things were heating up. By the way, what do you think? Is Cyborg right? Then let us know in the comments section. But one thing is for sure, with the entitled attitude and snappy trash talk, Chris Cyborg got a little too cocky before the fight believing herself as the better mixed martial artist. To be fair, by all accounts, Cyborg was the favorite of the fight. The betting odds for Chris were set at minus 240, while Amanda was at plus 220. But what happened in the actual fight? Well, Karma decided to teach this arrogant fighter a lesson. The lesson came in the form of UFC 232. The first couple of seconds of the fight were marked by caution from both sides. Both fighters determined as even cautiously glanced over each other, trying to figure out what moves their opponents will make. After staying out of each other's range for the first 10 seconds, the fight suddenly turned really wild. Nunes made the first contact, but Amanda retaliated quickly. 
Both the fighters boxed at a terrifying speed. But you already see how deadly focused the lioness is. She wants to, she needs to, prove herself in this fight. Look at her speed. Man, that is some seriously good reflex. Nunes also mixed it up with a few kicks here and there. Fast forward, at one point it looked like Cyborg was cornering Nunes, pushing her to the cage. But the lioness responded with a soul-crushing punch at Cyborg's temple that made her bend the knee. Nunes finally found her opening, but Chris Cyborg is one powerful fighter. Even after taking that punch straight in her face, she tried to get back up and fight, but you can already tell she was not good at all. Amanda banged her up with a couple more sweet punches. Man, how sweet is that? After almost knocking Cyborg down a couple of times, the ref finally had enough. He stepped in to stop the fight. We have our winner, Amanda the Lioness Nunes. After all the snappy little trash talks, Amanda humbled Cyborg. Cyborg looked like she was in shock. And Amanda? Well, she couldn't be happier. And look at her celebrate. As soon as the ref declared the stoppage, she rushed to Dana White and her team to celebrate. What a sight. She was truly over the moon. And why wouldn't she? The first female fighter to become the simultaneous champion of both the bantamweight and featherweight divisions. The lioness has our mad respect. But as it seems, Amanda didn't only have our respect. Her dominating performance truly humbled the cocky fighter and earned the respect of Chris Cyborg. Honestly, kudos to Cyborg. Even though the defeat was a big shock, she showed grace after the defeat. In an exhibition of true athleticism, Cyborg hugged and congratulated Nunes. In fact, in a post-fight interview, Cyborg congratulated Nunes again and vowed to train harder to improve herself. Cyborg lived up to her promise. She stayed humble and worked hard. As a result, since 2018, she won all seven of her bouts. It would be interesting to see a rematch between the new and improved Cyborg versus Amanda Nunes. If a bout took place now, who do you think would win? Share your thoughts in the comment section. It's not uncommon for great fighters to be blinded by the idea of their greatness. As the wins keep piling up, they become more and more arrogant, looking down on their opponent. This leads to their demise. Chris Cyborg faced a similar fate in her fight against Nunes, losing the fight in the first round. But because she became humble after her defeat and worked harder to improve herself, she is still considered one of the greatest athletes in combat sports. As proof of her hard work, she did not lose a single fight after the bout with Nunes. Chris Cyborg also has our respect for turning things around. But this is not always the case. Sometimes fighters pay a much severe toll for their arrogance. The disgraced TJ Dillashaw knows this well. Click on this video to witness the fate of this once great fighter. See you there.